Okay, this is how to do a crown splice or a back splice in your rope. So we're going to untwist these about three or four inches down. Okay, about like so. And we're going to turn this thing so that I have one in the center and behind and two this one and this one up front and close to me. Alright, the way you start this is this center one comes between the two, hold it under your thumb. This one's going to go partial through there, and this one's going to come around that short little tail and tuck right in there. Okay, at this point you can turn that one loose underneath your thumb, and you should have the beginning of what kind of looks like an airplane propeller. Now you want to draw these down, but don't draw one too much. A little bit on each one. Keep working it down till you get a nice tight crown knot. Now you kind of got to keep this pinched right where you quit untwisting. So we're going to pull that tight, just like so. If you look straight down on this thing, all right, you should see all three strands equally. If you have a high one, that's your loose one. So go ahead and suck it down. All right, so from this point, I'm going to put these three fingers, one between each strand, and I'm going to start my weave. All right, we'll start with this strand. It's going to go over that strand and under this one. So I'm going to turn it open, use my pointer finger on my left hand to kind of hold it open, and take this strand through. All right, here again, turn it by checking your watch. So this is going to be my next strand. You always go over the one that you just went under. So I just went under this one. I'm going to go over that one and under the next one. Okay, my last strand right there by checking my watch is going to go over the one I just went under. I just went under this one. That one's going to go over it and under the next one. And there should only be one strand left in your rope that does not have a tail under it. So that is one full rotation. Alright, and if you've done this correctly, these tails should be coming out equal distance down from the top and a third of the way around. Alright, once you finish your rotation, it doesn't matter where you start. So we're going to start with this strand, we're going to go over that one and under this one. I'm going to turn it open, hold it open with my pointer finger on my left hand, and tuck it through. Turn this by checking your watch. You always go over the one you just went under. So this one's going to go over the one that I just went under. I just went under that one. It's going to go over that one and under the next one. Turn it by checking your watch. There's only one tail left. I'm going to go over the one that I just went under and under the only one left that does not have a tail under it. So that's two full rotations. We always do three full rotations. All right, here again, once we finish the rotation, doesn't matter where we start. So we'll start with this strand. It's going to go over and under. Okay, turn it by checking your watch. I know this is my number two strand. I know I need to go over the one I just went under. So it's going to go over this one, under the next one. Okay, last strand, over the one I just went under, under the only strand left that does not have a tail under it. Okay, and so that is a crown splice or a back splice. To tighten these, just roll it in your hand. If you're splicing big rope, like three quarter inch lead rope for ropes on your pack saddles or lead ropes, put it on the floor and roll it under your boot. All right, to finish this, I'm just going to cut these tails off about a quarter of an inch. If you cut them too short, they can slip back through on you. So that is a crown splice, or also called a back splice. And I would caution you about burning nylon rope. It's easier to splice 
but if you've ever had a lead rope jerk through your hand with burnt ends, those burnt ends are sharp and they can cut you like a knife. So you want to be careful with that.